Chang Group presents TCG News, a monthly review of the Southwest Florida real estate market. And now your host, Dwayne Salt. Hello and welcome to TCG News, a monthly review of the previous month's top real estate, business and tourism stories in Southwest Florida. This month we're coming to you from Lakes Park. In fact, that opening shot was taken right here during the popular Farmer's Market, which is held at the park every Friday during season. At the end of this newscast, we'll visit the Farmer's Market and check out its colorful and tasty goods. But first, our lead story, arrivals and departures. It was nearly a record-breaking year for the Southwest Florida International Airport, located just outside of Fort Myers. According to the Lee County Port Authority, a total of 7,971,000 passengers used the airport in 2014. That's just shy of the record of 8,050,000 passengers recorded in 2007. Officials believe if it wasn't for the polar vortex, which shut down airports throughout the Midwest and Northeast for more than a week in December, the passenger total would have been even higher. With that said, Despite all the flight cancellations into southwest Florida because of the weather up north, the International Airport still set a record for December with 765,288 passengers arriving and departing through Fort Myers. That's a 4% jump from December of 2013. There are many reasons the passenger count at the southwest Florida International Airport nearly set a record last year. One of them just might be the Fort Myers area was recently ranked one of the top 10 winter destinations in the country. That accolade comes from the American Society of Travel Agents. Fort Myers is in great company since the other top 10 winter destinations included such cities as Orlando, Las Vegas, Honolulu, and San Diego, to name just a few. Travel Pulse, which covers the travel industry news, offered some reasons Fort Myers made the list, including having the most beautiful beaches in the world. And who could argue with that? One of the tallest buildings in downtown Fort Myers is about to get a new lease on life. That's because the former Amtel Marina Hotel, which has been vacant for about seven years, is being purchased by a developer who has plans for the 24-story Coral Pink Tower, which overlooks the Caloosahatchee River. The selling price of the old hotel was $13.5 million, and the developer plans to spend another $55 million on renovations. According to media reports, the 416-room hotel will be transformed into a 55 and older independent rental community with 322 studio, one- and two-bedroom apartments. The residential tower will also offer informal and formal indoor dining for residents outdoor dining, and swimming pools. The renovation on the building, which was originally opened in 1986, is expected to take about 15 months to complete. The data company Realty Track released a study that indicated Southwest Florida is being inundated with boomerang buyers. Boomerang buyers are homeowners that lost a home to foreclosure, thus ruining their credit but are now starting to re-enter the home buying market due to the passage of time. According to Realty Track, the Cape Coral Fort Myers area is number two in the country for boomerang buyers. The company is predicting that between now and 2022, boomerangs will represent 21.4% of the real estate market, or in other words, more than 79,000 home buyers. That's second only to Las Vegas, where Realty Track is predicting boomerangs will represent 26.3% of the real estate market. Realty Track also released its annual foreclosure numbers in January. Here's how two markets in Southwest Florida fared. For the Cape Coral Fort Myers metropolitan area, 1.72% of all homes were in foreclosure in 2014. That's way down from the 11.87% recorded in 2009, which was the worst year for foreclosures in Southwest Florida. For the Naples, Marco Island metro area, 1.06% of all homes fell into foreclosure in 2014. That compares to 6.38% in 2009. Nationally, less than 1% of all housing units had foreclosure filings last year. 
The number of foreclosure lawsuits filed in Lee County fell dramatically in January. According to the Southwest Florida Real Estate Investment Association, as reported in the news press, there are 110 foreclosure lawsuits filed in Lee County in January. That compares to 164 lawsuits in December and 136 in November. The number of multifamily home permits pulled in Lee County skyrocketed in January. The actual number of permits pulled was 358. You can compare that to December when only 38 multifamily home permits were pulled by developers and builders. Last month, we asked Jacqueline Chang, the founder and owner of the Chang Group, a Fort Myers-based real estate investment firm, to summarize her thoughts on the 2014 real estate market. During that conversation, she also commented on why some in the rental market should consider home ownership. It is a really great time to buy. And, you know, there's, given what we've been through, the big recession, everyone's hit by bankruptcy, prior foreclosures, loss of jobs, credit issues, um, it, it all contributes to the lower home ownership rates that we've been seeing in the last couple of years. Given the, you know, interest rates are so deliciously low, you know, and prices are relatively low and are not looking to go up more than, you know, a few percent in the next year. You know, people thought it would go up 5% interest rates and it's still in the threes and fours. So um, it, it's a great time to buy, but who knows? You've got to really do some digging to see if people are going to be able to qualify. And dropping the down payment requirement from 5% to 3% would actually give more potential homeowners that leg up that they need to get into the homeownership market. That was Jacqueline Chang, the founder and owner of the Chang Group. Well, one Southwest Florida city is in the running to be named the coolest small town in America. That city is Fort Myers Beach, located southwest of Fort Myers. Fort Myers Beach is actually a long and narrow island positioned between Estero Bay to the east and the Gulf of Mexico to the west. This annual contest is sponsored by Budget Travel, an internet travel site. To qualify as a small town, the city must have a population of less than 10,000. Fort Myers Beach currently has a population of around 6,200. Its small town charm and the fact once in Fort Myers Beach you are never more than a mile away from the sandy beaches of the Gulf of Mexico are two of the reasons the city is up for the honor. Another is the wide array of local and fresh seafood that is served daily at restaurants from the North End to the South End. Fort Myers Beach is one of the top 15 finalists for the honor. Every month we tour a for sale home in Southwest Florida. This month we're touring a recently renovated three bedroom, two bath plan in one of our area's most sought after cities. That city is Cape Coral, also known as the Waterfront Wonderland due to the number of canals within the city and the bodies of water surrounding it. This three bedroom, two bath home with a canal view has 1,526 square feet under air and 2,401 total square feet. An exterior archway greets you as you walk down the 17 foot long covered entry before reaching the front door. As you step inside, the tiled living room comes into view. It measures 14 by 13 feet, has three sets of windows that overlook the front yard, and a cathedral ceiling that measures 11 and a half feet at its peak. On the opposite side of the living room is the 12 by 10 foot tiled dining area with decorative light already in place. The sliding glass doors in the dining area lead out to a 33 foot long screen enclosed lanai. Returning inside, the 16-foot long kitchen has many highlights including a five and a half foot long breakfast bar, a double bowl sink below a pass-through window, 12 cabinets and four pull-out drawers, a seven by four foot breakfast nook, a dishwasher to the left of the sink, and a food pantry. Between the living and dining areas is the entrance to the master suite. The master bedroom measures 14 by 12 feet as a ceiling fan and light, and a set of sliding glass doors that lead out to the screen and close an eye. As for the closet, well, it's 12 feet long, 
And two highlights of the master bath are the private water closet and a skylight above the shower. Near the kitchen, a 16-foot long hallway leads to the two carpeted guest bedrooms and baths. The first bedroom measures 13 and a half by 10 and a half feet. The second bedroom measures 10 by 11 feet. The guest bath is also located in this area. For our final stop on this video tour, we're heading back to the backyard to take in the canal view. Just imagine sitting on a bench near this big shady tree as you watch your neighbors launch their boats for the Caloosahatchee River or the Gulf of Mexico. Every month we visit an attraction in Southwest Florida, a park or an event that reflects the Sunshine State lifestyle. This month we're heading to the Farmer's Market, a fun seasonal event which attracts large crowds right here in Lakes Park. The Farmer's Market at Lakes Park. On one end is the aroma of hickory smoked barbecue. On the other end, the aroma of fresh cut flowers. And in the middle, pure Americana. Well, that's our newscast covering the month of January. We'll be back around mid-March to review the real estate, business, and tourism stories that took place in February. Thanks for watching, and from everyone at the Chan Group and the staff at TCG News, have a great month.